This Powerwall owner made $574 last year by doing absolutely nothing. Tesla quietly paid out $9.9 .9 million to battery owners in 2024, and California just dispatched over 100,000 home batteries as one massive 535 megawatt virtual power plant during peak demand. So yes, VPPs are real, and your Powerwall can actually make you money in 2025. Today I'll show you exactly how much you can earn, the specific app settings that matter, and a 60 second calculator you can use right now. A virtual power plant is software that coordinates thousands of devices, home batteries, smart thermostats, EV chargers, to support the grid during critical hours. When electricity demand spikes, your battery automatically discharges on command. You get paid per kilowatt hour delivered. The Department of Energy calls VPPs a critical reliability tool for this decade, and they're already proving it works. Here's the game changer though. Under California's new net billing tariff, Typical daytime solar export credits are often just pennies per kilowatt hour, a massive drop from the old retail rates. But VPPs flip this on its head. Real value now comes from time shifting your solar to expensive 4 to 9 p.m. hours and earning event payouts during VPP dispatches. We're talking dollars per kilowatt hour, not pennies. Each power wall three stores 13.5 kilowatt hours and delivers up to 11.5 kilowatts continuously. It can handle up to 20 kilowatts of DC solar input, so one or two units can power your evening loads and still have plenty left to export during high-value events. This higher power output is crucial. It means more money per hour during VPP events compared to older battery systems. Here's where it gets interesting. You earn money two ways. Method A. High export hours. Tesla's PG and E example shows peak export rates hitting $1.03 per kilowatt hour during 7 to 8 p.m. on weekdays. That's not the average rate, but it's real money when events align with these premium hours. Method B, event incentives. Through PG and E and Southern California Edison's Emergency Load Reduction Program, Tesla pays you $2 per additional kilowatt hour your Powerwall delivers during events, on top of whatever export price applies. Let me tell you about Sarah, a Tesla owner in San Jose. She earned $423 in her first summer with just one Powerwall 3, participating in 12 VPP events. That's real money hitting her bank account. Now let's do the real math. Assume one Powerwall three. You keep 20% in reserve for backup power. Account for 10% round trip efficiency losses. Your dispatchable energy equals 13.5 kilowatt hours times 0.8 times 0.9. That's about 9.7 kilowatt hours available for VPP events. Scenario A, top export hour at $1.03 per kilowatt hour. That's $1.03 times 9.7 kilowatt hours equals about $10 in one hour. Scenario B, ELRP event hour. The $2 incentive times 9.7 kilowatt hours equals $19.40, plus whatever the export price is. If that event hits during a premium $1 plus hour, your total can approach $29 to $30 from a single Powerwall 3 in just one hour. Two Powerwall 3s? you roughly double those numbers. And remember, real earnings vary by how many events your utility calls, which hours they occur, and your specific export limits. Here's a back of napkin seasonal ROI calculation. Say your utility runs 10 ELRP events this summer, one hour each. One Powerwall 3 dispatches about 9.7 kilowatt hours per event. ELRP incentive alone, 10 events times 9.7 kilowatt hours times $2 equals about $194 per Powerwall per season. If three of those events hit during premium one plus hours, add another $30 per Powerwall. Result, roughly 200 to 230 plus dollars per Powerwall, three per season from events alone. Add your daily time of use bill savings from cycling during four to 9 p.m. hours, and you're looking at serious annual value. Here are the app settings that actually matter. Mode, time-based control set to cost savings. Backup reserve. Don't set this too high. 15 to 25% is common for VPP participants. Lower reserve means more dispatchable energy and higher earnings. Charge window. Allow midday charging so your battery is full by 4 to 5 p.m. when events typically start. VPP enrollment. In the Tesla app, opt into PG and E or SCE ELRP terms so your dollar per kilowatt hour incentives are properly tracked. Export limit. Check your interconnection's export capacity. If it's too low, it can bottleneck how fast you earn money. You might need a main panel upgrade or load side interconnection. 
Tesla's VPP currently operates with PG&E in Southern California Edison through the Emergency Load Reduction Program. But other aggregators like Sunrun, Autogrid, and Sonnen also run utility VPPS with different payment structures. The key is having compatible equipment in participating utility territory. Now here are other VPPs by state and what they pay. New England, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut. Connected Solutions Program typically pays $225 to $275 per kilowatt of capacity per summer. With rates locked for five years, that's solid, predictable income. Vermont, Green Mountain Power offers $850 to $950 per kilowatt upfront incentives, plus additional payments in targeted areas. Colorado, Excel's Renewable Battery Connect provides rebates around $350 per kilowatt AC, plus ongoing bill credits. New York, Sunrun operates the state's largest residential VPP with Orange and Rockland Utility, covering 300 plus homes. Hawaii, the old battery bonus program paid $850 per kilowatt up front plus $5 per kilowatt monthly for 10 years. New programs offer smaller but still meaningful incentives. Texas, Tesla Electric. VPP participants can join through ERCOT's aggregation pilot, which is expanding with local co-ops. Always verify current rates and eligibility. Program terms change frequently. Should Powerwall 2 owners feel left out? Absolutely not. There are way more Powerwall 2s installed than Powerwall 3s, and they qualify for most VPP programs. Yes, Powerwall 2 has the same 13.5 kilowatt hour capacity, but only 5 kilowatts continuous output versus Powerwall 3's 11.5 kilowatts. So your per hour export earnings are lower, but you can still earn $150 to $300 per season, depending on events. If you have Powerwall 2, don't wait for an upgrade, start earning now. Here's a quick comparison. Powerwall 3, 13.5 kilowatt hours, 11.5 kilowatts continuous, up to 20 kilowatts DC solar input. Powerwall 2, 13.5 kilowatt hours, 5 kilowatts continuous. Both qualify for VPP programs. Powerwall 3 earns more per event hour thanks to higher export power, but Powerwall 2 owners shouldn't feel left behind. Let's be real about limitations. VPP events aren't nightly. You might see 10 to 20 events per summer season. You still need adequate solar to refill your battery affordably. Always leave backup reserve for actual outages. And remember, policies and export prices get updated annually. This isn't a get-rich-quick scheme, but it is legitimate passive income from equipment you already own. Here's a simple formula you can use. Inputs, E equals events per season, example, 10. K equals dispatchable kilowatt hours per power wall, example, 9.7. I equals incentive dollars per kilowatt hour, ELRP equals $2. P equals premium export rate if event hits top hour, example, $1.03. H equals number of premium hours within events, example, 3. Formula. Seasonal earnings per power wall equals E times K times I plus H times K times P. Example. 10 times 9.7 times $2 plus three times 9.7 times $1.03 equals about $224 per power wall per season. Add your daily time of use savings from 4 to 9 p.m. cycling to estimate annual totals. Settings recap checklist, time-based control, backup reserve 15 to 25%, battery full by 4 to 5 p.m., VPP opt-in enabled, and verify your export limit capacity. If you have one or two Powerwall 3s and 10 to 14 kilowatts of solar in PG&E or SCE territory, VPP enrollment is a no-brainer. Low risk, real upside when events are called. Even with smaller solar systems, the event incentives alone make participation worthwhile. Drop your zip code, utility company, number of Powerwalls, and solar system size in the comments below. I'll personally reply with your estimated event earnings plus time of use savings using your local utility rates or grab a free 10-minute consultation from the link in the description to optimize your app settings before the next VPP event season. If this video just saved you money or opened your eyes to VPP earning potential, smash that subscribe button and share this with anyone still thinking NAM 2.0 is coming back. And if you haven't seen my battery sizing video that got over 59,000 views, I'll link it above. It covers the fundamentals of proper system sizing that make VPP participation even more profitable. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.